Yeah, I think we have already. Uh, okay, just turn the mic off. Uh, well, I try to make sure you don't hear background noise, so I mute myself in between when I talk. Okay, so... You guys have enrolled in Star Academy. As you can see, it is um, quite the sight to behold, as you are currently um, transported by a somewhat modern-looking shuttle-slash-bus from the nearest town to the school itself. You or everybody is in the same vehicle, and if you want to talk or describe what you want, uh, how you react to the site itself, it's up to you now. Uh, I assume my hawk's riding with me. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, they I, generally I would assume. On. <laughs> I would presume that it would possibly uh, maybe be in a cage for safety concerns. You know, you wouldn't want to have a rabbit, uh, a rabbit it's hawk it's going you. wild. Yeah. With you. You, you. You get what I mean. Yeah. It, it, maybe it got gets started and then suddenly attacks the. Uh, the <laughs> Sky bus driver, if you want to call it the sky bus. Yeah, that's that's quite the cool name. Well, my character is just setting down. She's carrying like a. She doesn't even have a backpack. She's just carrying around like a like a sack with all of her stuff in it. She's got I... a hawk next to her in a cage, apparently, and a ball on the ground uh, under her legs. Okay. Uh, Danis will just be sat there reading his book, just taking quick glances at everything around him. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. Just uh. So. I guess my character would just be sitting at the back of the bus, uh, looking out at the uh, school, kind of amazed, but also like... So is there usually like two people to a seat on this bus? Or... Uh, yeah, it's like uh, your... Imagine your standard American high school looking bus. Except just... it's flying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is there anyone sitting next to me? Um, who are you again? Um, K, Abram. Right? Yeah. yeah, Abram. Um, mm, judging for uh, what are you wearing right now? Uh, I'm wearing this uh, black, like, trench coat thing. <laughs> okay. Um, the person sitting next to you uh, thinks you are um, some kind of invisible person you know that, that you have the imbi invisibility trait cool since, All right. since I, I turn to them and I take off my glove and I go to shake their hands hello my name is Abram Von Brunt um the um the student is um very um confused by uh, his shattered assumption that you do not possess the invisibility trait, and is even now more confused by uh, with this realization that your head is missing, and he, he hears an ethereal voice coming from from this empty hole in the trench coat, where a hat should be. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Did he they tell me their name? Um, let me guess. Um, yeah, um, his name is, um, Marshall. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Marshall. Um, yeah, he, uh, repre uh, repeats the gesture, and he asks you, um, so, uh, what are you? Uh... Someone called me uh, Glenn. I don't have a head, though. Some versions of me are 
able to carry their head separately. I was just born with that one. So, do you eat? Do you breathe or what? Uh, hmm. I don't really need to eat, uh, but I do sometimes because, uh, I mean, it's the polite thing to do. Um, I just kind of put it in my neck here. And he look, tilts forward so you can see into the void. What does he see? It's like... Uh, it just, uh, it just looks like a void. <laughs> he just, he looks straight down your neck and just like, he just hears um, ethereal uh, hushing uh, coming from it. And he's just like awestruck. Yeah, he just looks you, looks up and down once again and just like turns back forward and it looks like he's some some kind of doubting existence itself. <laughs> you just shattered someone's dreams and ambitions. Or oh, life, life you. Okay. You. Anything else? Mm. I think the rest of us are just too socially awkward. Okay. Also, I think I'm sitting on my own because I need a space for the bird. <laughs> I suppose okay. my character. Oh. Yes. Go on. Character would just be uh, sitting on his sitting on his uh, costume at the moment. It's um. The character's uh, father is in the military, and very patriotic. So uh, he modeled his as uh, his son's uh, my character's costume. Um, he had it. He had it painted with the American flag, so basically my character has Magneto powers, but you know, when he's fighting, he has like, from the neck down, the Captain America costume. Okay. Um, it's rather embarrassing about it. Uh, would you have someone sitting next to you? I don't think he... I don't think I would mind someone sitting next to me, but I probably wouldn't be a great conversationalist. Okay. So, um... As the bus ride goes on, um... Another student approaches you, Kevlar, and he um, he is wearing well normal looking clothes, jeans, shirt, and a jacket, and has a big sea sack with him. You know, like you would expect from a military, since you would know how one would look, since you came from a military family, and he just. Sits next, uh, straight next to you. Um, he introduces himself as Jason. Hand and nod. He um, tries to be funny and asks, uh, and asks, or guesses. Hmm. Let me guess. You must be American. Okay. No response. Uh, just yeah, and then an awkward silence. <laughs> okay. Mm, so, uh, where are you from? Except America. Oh. I was stationed in uh, my father's stationed in Germany at the moment. Oh. Well, that's nice. My father also used to be in the military. Um, he, um, continues, uh, chit-chatting with you, just, the conversation just goes like this, he, he's, he's just talking, a lot, and you just, like, probably just, mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Try not to be rude, but, like, not enjoying being talked to so openly. <laughs> uh, he is, um, quite oblivious to your discomfort. And continues talking. Just like starts, he uh, lifts up a a um, I forgot the word there, paperclip with his uh, powers and just starts twirling it in the air, just kind of playing with it. Hmm. He uh, looks to the paperclip and um, is fascinated. 
Uh, he uh, he asks you, uh, "Are you some kind of telekinetic?" Magno, uh, magnetokinetic, actually. Oh. Okay, so you can like stop bullets. Steel and then like armor piercing, but not normal lead ones. Ah, uh, interesting. Uh, he continues to. Four. He continues by uh, asking uh, about your family, where you come from. But if you don't want to talk, he just he will just like uh, accept it and just sits quietly next to you. My character. Yes, your character. Character's uh, five foot two. Um. Okay. Um, judging from uh, judging from him ne uh, sitting next to you, um, he would be about uh, six foot one. Intimidated and tries not to initiate conversation anymore. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, anything else? Uh, like, does anyone else want to uh, mention something? Hello? Not anything, no, not anything from me. I'm good for now. Okay. Nope, I talked to my person. Say again? I said, no, I'm good. I talked to my person. Okay. Um. So, the uh, shuttle uh, lands at the... Uh, School's uh, well, landing port would be the best descriptor for it, and you are greeted by well, a welcoming committee. Uh, committee. Uh, it consists of uh, one teacher-looking person, and um, there are some guys or people in suits and. and uh, some professional looking heroes there as you look around uh the uh teacher looking person is um yeah well talking through uh you know this um loudspeaker that you have for uh for like cops and stuff He's just like standing there and um, he is um, telling everyone to um, get an order and uh, follow him as he will guide them to the auditorium. Um, you can also see uh, that other shuttles have arrived prior to yours and, and there are about um, 100 120 other people there. Can I use a uh, rapid here to try and just take everything in? Rapid here? My power, rapid. Um, well, what? it is unreliable, I'm not gonna lie. So you want to listen in on everyone's conversation or what? No, no, no. Rapid just. Li uh, I took rapid and vision rank two, so I can like just really, really quickly look around and take everything in that I can see. Okay, so um, although that's unreliable, but well, I would say um, depending were you around a lot of people before? You know, like masses of people. No, not really. So, uh, yeah, you're quite um, awestruck and kind of shocked at, by this new sense of impulse or sensation that you are experiencing by a lot, this whole lot of people talking, speaking to them, uh, to each other. Yeah, I, can, I just, uh, my grip on the cage of my hog gets a lot tighter. <laughs> Okay. And I follow just where uh, to the auditorium. Okay. Uh, 
Tyrannus is going to, or Danis is going to be as quiet and as inconspicuous as possible. Okay. Mm. Then, um, you all follow the, uh, very, um, imposing look, a uh, gentle but still imposing looking person to the auditorium. And there you are asked to take a seat. All right, um, I take a seat and I, uh, I try to make acquaintances with the people that sit on either side of me the same way as before. <laughs> Take off my uh, glove, go to handshake. Um, you are seated next to some other students, and you kind of get the uh, same response or well reaction as with Marshall. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm used to it, so it's okay. Okay. Mm, so, the um, as everyone finds their seats, uh, you are, you can see a figure slowly approaching the uh, podium at the, uh, what you presume is the stage of the auditorium. Um, do you want to make a perception uh, check since you, you're kind of like, somewhat far away and you can't make out the person person in spe uh, uh, what they actually look like mm -hmm. right, where okay so Terranis would um First, you would see a person slowly approaching the po uh, podium, and he would notice that it, he is a, somewhat larger than a, the usual person. Uh, Micha would um, notice that the person is somewhat older and has a Short hair and a quite, and a very manly beard. You, Abram, would uh, see. <laughs> however, you want to um, describe it. Um, you perceive that uh, the person at the podium would um, be none other than the former pro hero Titan. Uh. And... He, uh, yes. Do I think that he's the principal? Is that what? Um, um, is he the one like giving a speech or something? Concluding from his outfit and from what you, what like most people could recall uh, from hearing the name, that um, Titan retired. And that he um, he was he wasn't heard from in the public for about a year, and you deduce that he might be um, he might have taken up the leadership or the uh, office of principal at this school. Okay. And you, Kepler, you would. Also notice this uh, very finely dressed, somewhat big uh, man at the uh, podium. Okay, so he he wants to start his speech. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, can you hear the difference? Hello, hello. Hello. No. Okay. Hello. I'm trying to activate a voice changer, so <laughs> tell me if it's working or not. 
Oh. Say what? Oh. Say it again, please. No change yet. Yeah, okay. no change. How about now? Nope. Nope. Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. I hate it. So, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, then I just have to do it this way. Hello, students. I am Principal Johann Schneider. Some of you might know me as the from uh from uh from a oh as the pro hero titan and i am the principal of the star school of the star high school everyone is for one reason or another decided to become a hero each and everyone is inspired by some course to apply to our high school. Some by regular means, some via recommendations from our hero community. But each and every one of you is consists of the best of the best. Every one of you should really think about why you want to become a hero because it isn't as glamorous as or as exciting most of the time. But I hope that in three years I will be proud to call most of you, if not all, good heroes. Now, to this end, I would want to introduce, introduce you to your teachers. Um, now, coming onto the stage are uh, five individuals um okay uh they um uh they come onto the stage um they are uh, they are two female individuals and uh three male and uh they stand in a row and the principal continues by introducing them as um, the teachers of this year's, um, or as this freshman year's class teachers. He then um, gives more of a better Well, uh, he uh, reads down his paper and his speech, and um, after that, you uh, he says that um, he will announce or he will present the class uh, class lists, and that um, one after another the classes are sent. Uh, sent to the teachers or led by the teachers to um, conclude their first day. Um, each of each of you um, notices that they are on the uh, third list popping up, and um, that your teacher is. Uh, the same person that was leading you in sight. Do we have a name or um, for the teacher? Yeah, he is introduced as 
pro hero Kaiser. Kaiser, okay. Uh, but um, excuse me. So um, he is intro he introduces himself as um, Kaiser, but he prefers being called his actual name, uh, that is uh, Mr. Larder. He then leads you to uh, a room, a uh, class. C1. This will be your classroom. Uh, does he want us to introduce ourselves um, in the way they do in Japanese schools? Like each of us go up there one by one, write our name on the board, or do we just interact with people when we walk in the room? That's how we meet each other. He. Um... After the, he just instructs you to um, each take a seat, and that you can. After that, he um, wishes that every one of you introduces themselves. Not specifically okay. their powers, but more their name and just a short summary of who they are what they like, you know, what they do in classes. So, um, beginning with Keegan. All right. Um, hi, my name's Abram. Um, Abram Von Brunt. I like Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. Um, and no, I have not seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Please don't ask. Uh, and that's all for me. Okay. Um, next up, he um, calls up Mika. Uh, my character stands up and she put, she has the cage with the bird on the... I assume you ha we have tables or something. Yes. Yeah, she puts... She has the cage on the table and she stands up and she's like, I am Marie. I am from France. My main interest is hunting and tracking, and this is my hog Voltaire. Okay. Um, everyone um, just nods at this. And um, Robert is called up next. Hello. My name's Danis. I like to read. I come from a working class background. Nothing special. The teacher just looks at you for your very brief introduction and just continues on. And last, it would be Kevlar, if you're still here. Yeah, uh, I can probably get my intro and then I gotta go. Yeah. All right. All right, my name is Frederick, uh, decorated captain in the U.S. military, and I'm here, I guess, to be the best hero I can be. And then I just quietly sit, shuffle back down to my chair. Okay. Um, some other students uh, introduce themselves. Uh, you notice that um, there is uh, one seat still um, still unattended. Uh, but uh, there, you really don't think of it any uh, anything special. Okay. Um, I have to uh, interrupt for a bit, um, maybe a ten minute break, since my father just asked me to um, get some water from the supermarket. I'll be back in okay. ten. So you can, everyone can just like take a piss and stuff.
I had to rush back from work to get here. Yep. I get all the luck. Well, yeah, true. Yeah, I think it's Nerd Raging Buddhist. Neither do I, but hopefully it should be fun. Oh, nothing wrong with average. Just put me out of my misery. Yeah, so w with Dennis, he's definitely going to be more laid back. That's why he was talking like that. <laughs> I don't. Th I don't think it really helps when two of our characters are extremely like antisocial. Well, he's not anti-social, he's just extremely laid back. Ah. Uh, my character just doesn't know how to deal with humans. My character is just tr is gonna try to be polite. <laughs> um, but my other one was, he was like really active, so he probably would've went around and talked to all of you anyway. Oh god. <laughs> we we'll just have to wait to see out, see what type of character nerds is his character's a mute <laughs> that, that'll go well <laughs> can you imagine the team progressively gets smaller and more silent <laughs> we never actually say anything throughout the entire campaign we you just know what signal I, I was... each other. <laughs> just hand signals we all have to learn sign language <laughs> no, no, no hand signals smoke signals man Oh, I, smoke comes out of the, the space in my head, so I can use that as a smoke signal. Perfect. Uh, so I like how when we all rolled perception check, a uh, person without a head had the best <laughs> perception check. 
to be fair, let me to be fair, I think my modifier is way better than yours. You just rolled like ten higher. Well what what's your modifiers for perception? Yeah, I have a plus twelve to perception. Well, it's definitely better than mine, I've got a plus ten. I get plus ten as well. Yeah, so it was more that you just rolled way higher, actually. I told you, I'd never get any important rolls good. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that one wasn't super important. You're just looking that, at a guy. That vital to the game. Perception is my best thing, to be fair. It's a 12. My best thing is intimidation. <laughs> God damn. Well, I mean, you don't have a head. I think it's pretty easy to intimidate people. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so, fun fact. I mean, you guys won't know this in character, but out of character, I'm going to let you know that um, Abram can hold things in the void in his neck. So... <laughs> it's not your inventory. I, I have, like, a bag of holding... Uh, in my neck, just so you know. Well, why not? If that you... sounds way cooler than me. I just carry around the sock. Yeah, it's it's really it's really weird, but like, you know, I might pull like a sword out, and like I'll have a weapon. Yes, yeah, so I I just have speed and lightning. I don't have any of that fancy stuff. <laughs> 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 You're still doing, but that's still more than me. <laughs> My most fancy thing is a bird and a bow. Yeah, but like combat-wise, I'm just like a normal person. Um, my only special features is that I can like see 360 degrees around me. Uh. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty average. I mean, oh, like so I can hear. So, I can... so you basically have danger sense, like I do. Yeah. So you can... Oh, I asked, well, I got a couple other things, but it's mostly just sense stuff. I'm just waiting to see, like, how what kind of weird shit we can get get up to with these powers. That's pretty much what it comes down to. How much can I fuck around? What happens if someone, like, shoots you into your, like, neck hole? Does it just, like, forever, like, exist in the void now? That's a good question. I haven't tested it yet, so uncertain. Can other people put their hands in your neck hole? Um, I mean, they could pull it back out. But, yeah, they, have, they can. We're gonna have to test the shooting thing. <laughs> Let me just shoot an arrow down your neck. Yeah. <laughs> For science. For science. I'm sure look, it's, I'm sure it'd be fine. Look, there's gotta be one healer at the school, right? Oh yeah, none of us have that. That's uh, probably not good. Well, I've I've got fast healing. It was what fast healing is it though? It is. Yeah, your really... metabolism is so fast you can heal in a mere fraction. Of the usual time. Well, like, yeah, but like, what rank is it? Like, rank well, one? Yeah, it's only rank one. Okay. Um, that's, that's not bad, but uh, you can still take a lot of damage um, and not be able to heal from it. I mean, you'll, you'll heal, just not as quickly as you could with a higher regeneration rate. Well, fortunately for me, I had no idea what I wanted to put stats into, so... This is what I've got. Yeah. My my previous person, if I would have had him, things would have been really fun. Because, oh man, I, I actually, I'm afraid to say anything because he said he was going to keep the character. I didn't know if he was going to keep it for me to use again later, or if he's going to use it as an NPC, which I hope he doesn't do, because uh, that'll be scary. Is that the teleportation guy you were saying about? <laughs> nah. Nah. Okay. I mean, he was also good, but uh, just because of random stuff you can do. I mean, there was that whole thing where you can teleport someone off a building. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he can do a lot of things. Uh, there was one game where I played with him where um, 
like a skyscraper was like its foundation had been cracked or something and it was starting to fall apart and he teleported the two buildings to where the one that had his friends in it would uh be on the stable foundation and where the other one would be on the crumbling one so he saved his friends uh, but then he passed out because he was teleporting to skyscrapers yeah i can imagine it'll pretty be pretty tiring Is that the last person we were missing? Yeah, that's... I believe so, yes. We have everyone except a GM. Well, there's still... Uh... And Kevlar as well. Yeah, yeah Kevlar, I believe. I was gonna say, there's still uh, the guy who... We don't know if he's leaving or not. So we're missing the GM. Hi, by the way. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, the so GM we're... had to quickly run to the store, pick up some water for his dad. Oh, okay, that's fine. I he thought he wasn't be... there at all. No, no, he should be back. Actually, he fairly should... soon, right? Uh, yeah, it's been about six, seven minutes. Yeah, shouldn't be too long. We're just talking about stuff. Oh, we're okay, that's fine. F we're trying to figure out if we can shoot uh, this guy's neck hole. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Who's that? Context is key. Look, there's a guy who doesn't have a head and his neck is a blank void of nothingness. Well, let's see if we can shoot it. Oh, uh, you can shoot at it, I suppose. That's what I was <laughs> thinking. But Kay, Kay said he's not testing it, so... I, I mean, I haven't yet. Uh, by the way, who is everyone? Because I see Alanator, who's the GM, obviously. Obviously, then Keegan G is who? I'm K. Yeah, that's him. I'm okay. Miha. Miha? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm hey, back. Robert, clearly, like the, the Bob bit. Yeah. Uh, we just got the last guy, GM. Oh, yeah. He, he showed up said... like now. Uh -huh. Yes, he said, like, he would come a bit later. Yeah. So, everyone. Um, as you, um, oh boy, I, I need to catch my breath a bit, because <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> I just, I just had to power walk from the supermarket back to my home, uh, and well, you know, everyone and their mother decided to get something on this, oh, I know, I know on this exact pain. day. I know your pain. And there's a bunch of, like, retired folk who know each other, so they spend, like, ten minutes talking at the checkout. The, well, mm, not really. It's just, like, the mass. It, like, ah. We in Germany, we, we don't, like, chit-chat. We just do stuff when it comes to, like, groceries. Mm. No chit-chat, just next, next, next. Yeah, over here, <laughs> we're, like, over here, like, old people love talking at the checkout. It's annoying. Anyway, back yes. to the game now. <laughs> yes, so, um, as um, the presumably last student introduced himself, um, you uh, suddenly the door to the classroom opens. Um, now, um, Nerd, if you would like to describe yourself, go ahead. I will, one second. So, I guess, um, is is kind of like a lean, athletic, lanky-looking kid with red hair, gingery hair, and he looks very young and a bit casual, nonchalant, I suppose. <clears throat> Other than that, nothing, nothing too um, auspicious or, you know, intimidating about him. Okay. Um, the teacher um, says, oh, finally, the last kid the last uh, student arrived and he um, promptly uh, sa uh, says to you that uh, please introduce yourself to the class oh that's me right oh sorry yes. um, so the name would be Kevin 
And um, wait, where am I anyway? Context is key, someone said. Okay. I'm missing it. Okay, so you are currently at uh, Star High School. Right. And um, you were, um, you were, I, well, your character was presumably lost in the hallways or stuck on toilet, I don't know. Decide what you wanted to go with. Sure, that's fine, yeah. And um, he um, uh, he was greeted uh, while, or he was greeted with the sight of the school while he was on the flying school bus, <laughs> school shuttle. Magic and... school bus, okay. <laughs> yeah, we joked about that a little bit. And um, uh, he... Um, he was in an auditorium where the principal, uh, former pro hero Titan, introduced himself, and um, he um, he uh, well then got pros uh, probably lost. He got lost. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, he... Well, the the school is massive. Just. Uh, to give you a, a little bit of context. Contemporary Hogwarts. This would be like... Oh, that's a school. Oh, wow. Okay. Almost the actual size. It's, nice. it's, uh, it would be about... Uh, wait a second. Uh, the actual school would be like this tall. Okay, okay. Because it houses like... Uh, students from across Europe and also from the States. And it has a massive, like, the part up here would be like the training area where they have different training habitats and m modules. Okay, so um, danger room and everything is in there. Cool. Okay, in that case, it's no problem to tell people that I'm telekinetic, or my character is, obviously. Is it, so it wouldn't be weird for people to know that, right? Well, uh, I said that they, they they don't have to introduce their powers if they okay. don't want to. No, but that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll tell everyone that. They can know. Okay. Uh, yeah, just tell a bit about yourself, uh, what you like, hobbies. Right. So, uh, uh... Also, age would be, uh, good. Okay, so his age would be 19, and he's, um, you know, athletic, he's active, he likes sports, all that sort of stuff. Uh, in, in meta terms, that means, um, you know... He put some points in, uh, in athletics, acrobatics, that sort of stuff. And um, he's very tall. I think I made him like six feet something. Um, and what he's there for is just figuring out what it means to have all these telekinetic abilities. So I guess that's, that's his character introduction. Okay. So... Um... You find your seat, um, it would be about here. I still have to, give me a second, I try to get the tokens. Um, Perfect. Okay, that's a bit tall. Uh, so where does everyone want to sit? Uh, Dennis has no preference. Probably at the back, but he doesn't care. Okay. Somewhere by the window. Uh, the, the, the Miha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just. So by the window, I guess you can have this seat. Ooh. He would be somewhere here. Uh, I give him, since he's awkward, somewhat back, somewhat here. Uh, Teneris, where would you sit? Uh, if he had if he had a choice at the back, but he really doesn't care. <laughs> okay. 
And Kevin, you would have the only seat left. It would be uh, around here. And here. So that would be, uh, and the rest is filled like with other extras, let's call them. I haven't like decided on the any... important ones. Yes, the non main characters, the faceless ones. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> your teacher um, reintroduces, uh, well, he, he would have uh, probably uh, still be uh, noticed uh, who your teacher would be. Uh, it would be um, the uh, pro hero Kaiser. Or as he's also known, uh, Bjorn Lada. Or Mr. Lada for you guys. Do you, do you have the name for us in the, in the World 20 chat? Uh, yeah, well, um, this is why we have the story section for our Discord. Oh, ah, right, perfect. That's great. It's as if it someone fought ahead. Bjorn Lada, okay. AKA Pro Hero Kaiser. Uh, do you want me to show everyone each other's characters? Uh, so they can see it in the character section in the journal. I was wondering where everyone's character sheet was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can um, see a few, a... but I'm not all. Uh... Mm. Yeah, it's um. Wait. Also, some of them are NPCs. Also, apparently, two of them are NPCs. Um, I think this should work. If not, do tell. Can you see the uh, characters? Uh, I see uh, Abram and Shivergo and Kevin. Yeah. I got it. Gauss? Yep. Yeah. I see it now. Okay. Okay. Uh, edited. Can be uh, place yeah. journals or place. Let's see. Okay. okay. I think we have everyone now in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, um, I got it. Okay. So. Ah. Uh. Um, Abram, I think, is still left. Uh, let me edit it. Oh, all players, okay, good. Yep, it's good. Um, so... Now you can behold each other's characters. And, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. I, I uh, think you should look at my character, because he's quite handsome. <laughs> uh, was it Abram, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're invisible. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you, you like, you me. can, you, you can approach him. So um, uh, the teacher uh, says that um, for uh, that uh, you have about an hour to. Uh, well, interact with each other, uh, get to know, talk, and after that, uh, the first actual, uh, he will then show you your quarters, since you will live in, on school grounds. And after that, you will um, have your first class, as he says. Uh, it's his personal uh, assessment test, if you like, if you would like to say. So, point zero mm -hmm. assessment. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> I'm so gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> you can't show point zero assessments, but you know. <laughs> Say again? You... Not with that attitude. <laughs> okay. Uh, now is your chance to uh, meet Abram. 
I didn't see anyone. Uh, Where's Abram? The one without the head. Oh, that's the one. Yes. Oh, that's the one we're trying to shoot. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, GM, shoot. you weren't here. We need to try to shoot his neck hole. What? I say, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Context. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, it makes per don't worry, it makes perfect sense once we explain. Oh. <laughs> uh, let, let, let me guess, Mika try to uh, do a trick shot. No, I'm gonna try to do a trick shot. We have an idiot, Mika. Okay. Now, uh, RP time. You can. You can have fun. Well, I'm gonna feed my. Before I do anything, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start feeding my bird because it's probably getting a bit hungry. <laughs> I probably brought I probably brought some seeds along in my sack that I carry around. Well, isn't a isn't it a bird of prey? Yes. So it would be, it would possibly need meat, like. I thought, fine, I have a dead mouse in my sack, and I start feeding it to it. I guess uh, due to your social ineptness, you wouldn't know about. Um, so... Wait, I'm not supposed to carry dead mice in my sack. Uh, you would possibly wouldn't know about uh, like pet snacks, you know, like for dogs or something, like <laughs> yeah, you know. Also, the what? fact you're not supposed to carry around dead mice in your rug. Yes, yeah, that that too. <laughs> they would uh, glance, uh, get some eyes from the rest of the class. Yep. Who's this with the weird dead mice and feeding his bird? Yeah, yeah. My character's a female, so it's a she. <laughs> Marie. Yes, Marie. Okay, I'm eyeing Marie <clears throat> up and down in, in this sort of um, yeah, state of surprise. <laughs> she sees you. She sees you eyeing her. She's like, oh, um, hi. I keep, I keep my eyes on the bird. I don't trust that. What, what <laughs> kind of bird is it anyway? <clears throat> it's a hawk. His name's Voltaire. Okay. Yeah, wow. he, he was a bit hungry, so I took one of uh, his snacks from my sack here. Well, well not the hello, worst Voltaire. To have snacks. <laughs> Are we Where allowed snacks in the classroom, though? Uh, I wasn't told otherwise. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I kind of need snacks to help supply me. Who's um, that? That is... Oh! Hello! Why were you late? This is, uh, Tyrannus. It is. No, it's... Pier oh, it is, sorry. I was confused. Pierce of Tad Tyrannus. Yeah, it's a, it's, he's not introduced that name yet, so it's Danis. Dennis. Yes, and you're Kevin. That I am. So, did you get lost? Uh, yeah, you know, first day and everything. So, it's kind of a big place in it. it. Shouldn't take that long to get round. Okay. Not for some people, I'm sure. But I'm not that fast. Well, no one knows I'm a speedster. <laughs> not yet, but oh. with that attitude, I, I don't think it's going to take people long to figure out. <laughs> well, we can't all have super speed, can we? No, we really can't. So, what's everyone else doing? What's what's. I'm just sitting there feeding my bird and getting weird stares. <laughs> you are getting weird stares. Didn't I just introduce Kev Kevin as a telekinetic, though? Telekinetic person in front of the class. I think people know what I do. Can do. Yeah. Nice no head. <laughs> Apparently we have a bully in this room. Classroom. <laughs> no. Uh, nice to see no head for once. Yeah. Keeps things uh, interesting. Uh, 
I finish feeding my bird and I put the mouse, dead mouse back into my sack. Snail over to the professor. Hey, professor, you mind if I let my bird out now? Um, he, um, he just looks at this, um, at the person asking the question, just peeks his, his head a bit above his legs, because he can't, he's just like staring at the, at the ceiling, he just looks at you, and just says, to you, yeah, sure, as long as it doesn't make ruckus, it can. I but if it's shit, on, but if it does something nasty, it goes back in the cage. Okay. I t I open up the cage to let the bird out, and it flies out and lands on the table in front of me. The bird is out. Yeah. I pet I pet it a bit, and then put, then have it land on my hand. So it's like it's set. So it's basically like sitting on my hand now. So. Okay. Abraham has no head, or is do you have an invisible head? Because context. Come, come meet me, and you'll find out. <laughs> Can I? To be, honest, I have, to be honest, I am interested in this no head guy. I think everybody is. You're like you're very, um, you're all of your people's kind of like gravit uh, gravitate towards him. Due to your shared interest in his uh, uh, lack of head, well, I'm gonna use my inf I'm gonna use my improvision to tell if he actually has a he head that's invisible or if he just doesn't have one. J Jason just uh, just asks you, um, um, so uh, are you are you some kind of ghost or something? Uh, no. Uh, and he points to his hand, which is ungloved, and it looks like a normal human hand. So, okay. So what happened to your hand? Uh, head, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was simply born of that one. That's weird. That, that's... Jason just, uh, at this, remarks, Spooky! <laughs> oh, do you want to see something cool? Um... <laughs> he sits there for a couple seconds, and then like uh, flames start to appear from his neck. And they're like purple flames. Did you just say, as in fire? Yeah, as in fire. Does it actually emit any heat, or is it just like cold fire what? or what? It's just like light. It doesn't burn anything. Ah. Does it produce smoke? Let me ask you this. Oh no. yes, a slight black smoke, but not very ah, much. No. Um, um oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> um uh at the smell of smoke, the teacher um uh seems to pop up and look around the room and he just starts yelling, You! You there without the head! Stop that Uh yes sir, and then the, the fire goes out. But he doesn't turn around to face the teacher, by the way, he keeps facing the way he is. I How mean, would the teacher tell anyway? <laughs> that's kind of rude to say to a Doolahan. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, I get that kind of thing all the time. Yeah, he's just like... Um, public safety, let's call it just like this. He doesn't want his first class to be interrupted by um, the fire support uh, suppression system that is installed. Yeah, it's a... not dangerous. Yeah, but if it does produce smoke, it you know triggers automatically. <laughs> you know. So, do you have any ancestry in Ireland or Scotland? Mm. I might. I don't know. I'm not really um, normal. Most of my other siblings got a lot better quirk. Mine just was very different from both my parents. Jason just remarks this the old one out, aren't ya? Yeah. Um, it's okay though. I can do some cool things. Ike? You can look at people without them noticing. That's pretty cool. That's true. I also, and he reaches down into his neck. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, 
He was like, I just gotta, just gotta find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, and he starts to pull out um, a very long handle. Um, interesting. <laughs> Does Jason just stares, the same as Kevlar? You, the, wait, wait a second, just to represent. Think he would like to be here. Everybody just like would turn around, and just have a conversation. You don't see that every day. Uh, now I won't take it out all the way out right now, but um, I, I can basically store stuff here. Uh, so he like slowly lowers the handle back down. The body's oh. pocket dimension. That's practical, Jason remarks. Like mm -hmm. the possibilities. So what would happen if we shot at you? Uh, it'd probably hurt, but if you shot in the neck, I don't know. Never tried it. Well, <laughs> Jason, that sounds uh, like fun. <laughs> Jason just um, starts cramming through his uh, sea sack and uh, he pulls out a combat shotgun. Uh oh. Care to find out? That seems like a <laughs> bit of an escalation. As long as you don't miss. <laughs> uh, seeing Jason pulling out his uh, uh, accessory, the uh, teacher. Um, just it's just stunned for a minute uh, for a second and then uh, he um, uses his uh, quirk and uh, he uh, loudly proclaims um, Jason stop and at this uh, Jason just froze Frozen in I see froze or just stop moving altogether. Just stop moving. Like he, he can still like talk, breathe, and stuff, but he can't move. He's like paralyzed. I, I poke Jason. In a wave in front of his face. Hello, <laughs> hello. Has yeah. anyone After got a spare pen? After seeing this, I just <laughs> I just like take my bone, start to put it away. <laughs> Um, Let's put that uh, the, the, the teacher just just slowly goes up to Jason and tells him, "No firearms in class." Understood? Not. Wait, I corrected. Any kind of weapon in class, okay? I start to put my bow away f faster. Uh, Jason just remarks this, uh, yes, sir. And um, he uh, can move again. Okay. Um, uh, Jason, after the, uh, after the teacher uh, leaves um, the space where he could possibly uh, hear him, uh, he remarks, whoa, that was different. Well, it's good to know what he can do. Well, it's, good to not all, it's also good to not piss him off. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so while this is going on, uh, I asked the guy who's talking to me. Uh, so what, uh, what exactly do you do? What? Uh, who do you mean? Who was talking to me before? Uh, okay, that okay. I, I guess. I don't know. This, this bad boy right here. <laughs> Look, I was sla talking to you. <laughs> slaps Kevin. Uh, slap Kevin. This bad boy right here can fit so many telekinetics in him. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say so many, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has so much okay. te telekinetic power in him. I also can't remember who was talking to me because I don't want to use people's voices and that. Okay. So, um... After um, he, um... Puts back his combat shotgun, uh, he, um... Asks, uh, Abram, um... Can I, uh... Uh, not, he doesn't ask, he just, like... Takes his hand where... Above his neck and just, like... Just 
fields around it, just like, just to test the water? Uh, no, no, let me, uh, he kind of tilts forward so you can do it a little better. <laughs> At this, uh, he, uh, he's cu uh, fascinated by, by your headlessness. <laughs> Out of character, it's probably cold in there, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is he sticking his arm in there? No, 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 just like his hand, just like, just a bit, just like with the fingers, just like testing, just poking. Well, aren't you supposed to buy him dinner first? <laughs> <laughs> My he, just, he just uh, turns to you and just, uh, just... Just uh, snaps uh, sarcastic, sarcastically. Oh, sh oh, shot at you, you little. Oh. Anyway, but he really... meant it like he meant it sarcastically. But he uh, he also uh, somehow laughs at this remark. Uh, Abram's like, I can't really feel it, uh, so it's a little weird. Because I have no clue what you're doing. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I, just like... I can see it, but I can't feel it. Wait, wait. Can how? See... What? How far can you see? Like, how does it work? Can you just like see forward, or can you just like see all around you? Uh, I can see 360 degrees around me, um, in all directions. Uh, I from guess where it's does... from where does the it same? Mm, I like guess where back. my head should be. So like, you uh, could, you could technically look down your your own neck. Yes, so I can see. I just can't feel it. Uh, there's no nerves there. Okay, he is. He uh, retracts his hand, and just ask. So, so, how much can you fit inside there? Hmm. Well, that's a rude Probably. question. It's rather <laughs> personal, don't you think? Like, could you store a small child in there or something? What? Like, if it could, like, fit down your neck, could it be there? Uh, I suppose so. I've never run out of space so far. And I don't really need to eat, so I put a lot of random food down there and haven't retrieved it. Do you then, does it just like digest or is it just like still there and decomposes? I think it's still there. I don't know if it decomposes. Maybe it's, maybe it's fine. He, he uh, at this, he just, uh, he uh, looks a bit disgusted and curious at the same time. <laughs> like, like uh, how, a, how a scientist would look like looking at something new. It's like morbidly fascinated. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I can check. Uh... Please don't do this. I I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, after this, um, an hour passes. You, uh, everybody talks a bit, uh, tells them about themselves, and you are. The teacher then uh, resumes and says, uh, So, class, um, I will now show you to your dorm. Uh, everybody Ooh, do up. We... Yes? Uh, do we get roommates, sir? Um, yes. You will have uh, two, uh, two person or uh, rooms consisting of two per uh, people. But it will be uh, gender segregated, so uh, nothing kinky going on here on my watch. Oh great, I get two NPCs. <laughs> no, no, no. You just get one. <laughs> There's only one of her in the entire class. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There's two people per room. Yes. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm an idiot. Excuse me. Okay. Um. But, um, yeah, if, but I, if I recall correctly, uh, 
the uh, women get uh, solo uh, or their own personal rooms. Just like for privacy reasons, I don't know. I don't get it. It's you don't it's have another female NPC, do you? No, I don't. Not yet. <laughs> or maybe we can uh, do it that uh, that will join you one later when I once I created more characters. I mean, you can just say I do have a roommate, just not she actually name her till now or whatever. Yes. I'll okay. be your roommate. You can't tell if I'm a girl. Or not. So, um... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Kevin will be, um, paired up with, uh, Abram. And... No. Let me, uh, David. Uh, Kevlar's character will be, uh, met, uh, paired up with Tenaris. Cool. And Jason will, uh, will be in another room with some other, I think, yeah, he would be in a room with, uh, with Marshall. Just like Marshall is just like the character I just came up with. He, he sat next to Abram on the bus. He just had his uh, view on the world shattered. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, already. <My> first thing. <laughs> he, he's contemplating life. Yeah, poor thing. Oh, God. First day of school. Okay. Mm. So, um, what would you bring to your rooms? Uh, I have everything um, in my, in you know, in the void. <laughs> he, he, starts, with you. He, he starts pulling out some IKEA sets of <laughs> wardrobe. <laughs> oh, that's the new, uh, the new um, Alexin, the new table I got. <laughs> just ordered it this morning. <laughs> yes, it's actually just IKEA in there. <laughs> you have yeah. an interconnection, uh, interdimensional connection to the ne uh, to the next IKEA. <laughs> yep, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> okay, so um, what would you have? Uh, what would you bring? Like, presumably clothes, your hero costume, uh, but like personal stuff. I don't know, maybe your. You have a bow, or your pet, uh, your pet uh, hawk, or something that you would I bring with you. Probably, I bring a few clothes, some like some like food for me and the bird. Uh, okay. Bring, of course, the of course I bring arrows and the bow. I'm trying to think what else. Maybe a target. <laughs> I might bring. A, I maybe would bring like a journal and a pen. Just in case. Okay. But yeah, tra travel light. <laughs> okay. And have like some basic first aid, so like some bad just disinfectant. <laughs> yeah, you, your, your roommate uh, just like uh, just looks at the stuff you're looking, uh, you're packing out of your stack, and just like he, she's re uh, she thinks you're ready for the next apocalypse or something. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, as I'm in my room, I go try out the bed. I lay down on them like mm, it's too soft. And I fit. Yeah. I take my pill. I take the pillow and the sheets off, and make a sleeping. I make a sleeping bag on the floor. Uh, you, you, maybe. Yeah, uh, you you could possibly also requ uh, re uh, requisition um uh, a hammock or something. Ah, this is fine. I'm fine. Sleeping on the floor is actually really comfortable for me. Is she, um... She asks you... Uh, is, are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm just used to sleeping on the ground. Uh, okay. Uh, I, when you spend, why? I, well, I spend a lot of nights... Well, when I'm hunting, I spend a lot of nights in the forest, so... I never, oh. really, I never really had a bed. Per se. Okay. 
as I make myself, as I put my hawk on the actual bed itself, out of its cage, of course. Um, uh, she, uh, she asks you, uh, so your, your bird, uh, uh, is he, can, uh, is he dangerous? No, unless I order him to attack something, he's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> His name's Voltaire, by the way. He's friendly. You can pet him if you want. Um, she uh, carefully tries to pet him. Yeah, the, b the bird lets itself get pet because, like I said, unless I order it to attack, it usually doesn't. Okay. He um. Oh, uh, she word being usually. <laughs> yes. Uh, she uh seems uh, kind of fascinated. Uh, she uh, tells you she never had a pet at home, so uh, it's strange living with an animal and uh, with an animal now. I just God tell her it. a bit more about like the history of how we, how like I got it. That okay? Like I was uh, basically like, oh, I got it. I was like four years old. My dad gave it to me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Usual. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So, anybody else other than uh, Abram uh, going for for a bubble bath? Uh, well, I'm I'm paired up with Jason. Uh, no, Jason has his uh, has his own room, or is in another room with some random. Okay, so and I'm with who? Uh, you were Tenaris, right? Yeah. Yeah, you would be uh, with Kevlar. Uh, thought, David. David. Yeah, but he isn't here. Any, uh, so, just like describe what you would would have brought with you, or maybe send in it sent in at at advance. No, I was just wondering who I was in the room about, because I wouldn't okay. really I wouldn't really have much due to a speedster doesn't really require much. There's some clothes okay. and he's and he's out there. Okay. Uh, Kevin? Yes. What would you bring? All the basic necessities, I suppose, so clothes and everything that I'd need for school, and obviously we'd know up front whether there would be beds for us ready, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so... You, could, um, you actually had the option to uh, send, uh, like, stuff in that barn. Oh! And that, yeah, but nothing too out of the ordinary, plus some sporting su supplies, you know, sports clothing, uh, probably a basketball or something like that. What do you mean with a ring? Yeah, you know, like a flash ring. The, the flash contains his costume in a oh, ring. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah, well, uh, I don't think technology uh like your most of your costumes would be um uh what's the word would be uh, made by uh professionals or professional uh costume designers by yeah. your specifications but i don't think they uh would be able to cram a whole costume into a ring no that was worth a go but you are given uh or you will find on your bed uh, a neatly uh, packed or uh, suitcase where your costume would be in once you arrive. Kevin, did you want to take a bath first, or sorry, a what first? Did you did you want to take a bath before I did, or? Oh, that's fine. I'll do that before we head on to the zero point assessment. Okay. <laughs> okay, um uh after you take a shower, uh you uh you can hear the um the teacher, uh Mr. Lauder, uh speak very loudly on the hall in the hallway. Uh and he tells you to um that everybody get their costume and uh, 
follow him to the uh, training area. Okay. I don't really have a costume or anything like that. I'm not... I don't Neither have it. do I. I just have this trench oh. coat. Aren't you classy? I'll just hop on in there then. Okay. So, um... After everybody gets their costume, costumes ready, um, the class meets up at uh, the uh, school, uh, at one of the school's training arenas. Uh, where you, it's uh, what you would expect, it looks like a school gym. But it's uh, a lot more spacey. And um, you can see that it has some very it's made of very tough material you can see like like it's made of some kind of concrete plastic thingy it looks very clean like almost like like you would find in a ho in an hospital or something very sterile yes i see and uh your um, La uh, Mr. Lada then would say, um, "So, my students, now I would like to uh, personally see what you are made of. This is why you are, uh, I ask you to bring your costumes with you and uh, dress, because I want to see you in action." Uh, he then pulls out a remote and presses a button. Uh, at this, the uh, a part of the uh, floor behind him uh, parts away, and some kind of uh, elevator seems to lift itself up from the sound of it. Uh, there, once it reaches the top, uh, you can see robots. So, my kind of uh, test is combat test. This will be your adversary. It will. Its name is, um, if I recall, it's something like. BT seventy one two, but uh, I just call them Bobs. Bobs, okay. Yes, Bobs. And um, he then presses another button, and then the whole gym floor seems to uh, lift itself up into towards the ceiling. The ceiling then parts and you are then uh, what seems to be the um, the in one of the training modules you're surrounded by what looks like to be um, some kind of construction yard um, with other buildings in it It would kind of look like this. And you would be about here. Okay. So. Your task is that I will assign you in teams of five men or and or women, and you will then have to um, rescue someone. The scenario is this. A terrorist group has taken hostages in one of the buildings. Uh, your mission is to um, 
safety hostages and and that's it save All the hostages die hard yes whatever <laughs> else you do is up to you how you tackle the problems will decide on how i grade you or how i assess you Mm. Okay then. And we're all on top of the building, right? Yes, you are on the roof. Where right. this this roof yeah. would have been is where it would have been lifted up to. Yep. And yeah. the hostages are in the same building as us or a different one? No. It that's the um important thing is that you don't know where the hostages are. It could be in any of these buildings. And your mission is to exactly to get information and stuff just to rescue the hostages. That's it. Everything else you need to work on yourself. I could probably give that a shot. Alright. Uh, does anyone in our group have some kind of sensors that they can use to find the hostage or I could uh, I could give that a shot I'm gonna send out my hawk to start flying around to see if it spots anything and at the same time I'm gonna use my tracking power okay uh, uh, what do I roll for that is just a straight d20 or mm, I would say perception do we all have like um, air pieces um, yes, that would be, um, it would be given to you as your team equipment, your only team equipment. Okay. So, perception. Uh, this, by the way, it says by default the DC is 10, but the, uh, to follow the trail, but the, uh, GM can change it. Yeah, just roll, and then I will determine okay. how successful you are. Yeah, um... After sending out your hawk, um, you are getting a fast response from him, and he has determined that there are people in several of the buildings, but that the uh, people with uh, the only people who were where it seems to be concentrated is. The building right here. I look over to it and I point to the rest of the group. I point this all out to the rest of the group that the main uh, group of people seems to be there. Do I know what floor it's on? Or um, Yeah, it seems to be um, somewhere in the middle. Um, possibly the uh, 15 to um, 18 story or ground uh, ground floor. Okay. Would you like me to go have a closer look? Yes, hmm. if you can. Okay. I'm, go I'm gonna tell my hawk that I can communicate with my hawk talking that like mentally, so just so you know. Okay. Uh, to fly over there. Okay. Uh, to get a, to get a better look to see what it, to see if it can find anything. Okay. Mm. It lands on one of the um, window frames where no windows are. Uh, the building itself seems to be um, very uh, destroyed. It's like a a building in pro. Uh, uh, yeah, a skyscraper in pro uh, in progress. Okay. Of being built, the process of being built. Uh, so there are many windows in it, no interior. I'm going to uh, use my remote sensing here so that I can. Uh, with remote sensing, I can see what my hawk sees, like exactly. Okay. Um, he would see. Um, let me. Uh... Uh, the range is about 120 feet. Is there is that too? Is he too far or? Mm, wait a second. 
Why can't I? Where is my ruler? What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. They changed I was looking the for that UI. earlier too. They changed the UI. It's now the little like circle of oh, like okay. the little thing in the top right. Ah, like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody just starts. Yeah. Just the race starts. Yeah, the range for the remote sensing is 120 feet, so I don't know if he's still the hawk is still in range or not. Mm, how much would that be in meters? Uh, uh, around like Google. 60. It's about. You divide it by three, yeah. basically. So it's just over 10 meters. 160. 120 feet would be about 40 meters if you divide it by three. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I see 30, 35.6 feet here. Yeah, that's. I haven't uh, put um, the correct. Uh... Oh, the you didn't adjust the sizes. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah, that that'd be 40 meters. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I doubt it. Yeah. You would barely be able to uh, sense with your hawk, but uh, he wouldn't be uh, able to fly inside with you uh, still having the same effect. Okay. So I, could, I think I can get over to that building. <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, forty uh, meters, not uh, thirty-five feet. So. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. So. Um, you, your hawk would see uh, about a dozen of uh, bobs. Uh, they are this time clo clothed in um, clothes and uh, some kind of light armor. And they seem to be carrying um, pistols and you can make out that one seems to be planting an, an explosive. Oh, crap. Yeah, I finished my remote sensing, I told the group. Yeah, they, there's, I can see about a dozen of the bobs. Uh, most of them in clothing with pistols, but one of them seemed to be planting some sort of ice, possibly explosive. Yeah. So Jason. Uh, we kind of need to move. Okay. So I can, I can get over there. Jason just asked, how? That's like um, 40 meters. I I can do it, I think, actually. Can I try? I have a... I have a power that... Leaping power? But I need to make an athletics check, check first. Mm, first, uh, let... Where do you want to land? Um here so like on the actual roof of the building yes, yes. Okay. i hope this works so okay <laughs> other boys. um so the way this power works is that i have to get at least a 10 and every point over it up to my rank stands for a certain distance that i can leap okay so um I'll just make that athletics checks check then. Yeah, I would say you would reach. A 30, okay, so I can, yeah, I can leap 1800 meter, uh, feet in that case, so that's 600 meters if I wanted to. Um, what power do you have again? Super speed, right? Uh, no, I'm telekinetic. Oh. But so. I use telekinetics as a way to um, support the athleticism that I have. Oh, so, so you would case... like propel yourself. Right, that's exactly it. So you hear this dull thud as I leap off the building and disappear, you know, change into a tiny dot in distance as I land on the building. Okay. Jason just looks very impressed at this, and then he calms you and asking, can you get us over there too? Uh, I would just like to grab a random person and set off. 
Oh, no, who I, is I this lucky person? Who is this lucky person? Oh no, I didn't, I didn't actually slap that. I'll just run off by myself. You just see sparks of ele electricity as I'm already over there. So you just literally run down and then back up. Yep, because I've got run on walls. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh. So, um, we now have three people there. You just grabbed someone with you. No, I, I didn't take the feet share speed, so oh. I don't I've, I don't think I'd be able to. Well, I could, but they wouldn't enjoy it. Whiplash. Yeah. Whiplash. I don't really have like a head to be whiplashed. Okay, Abram, you're coming with me. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Um, now three people up there are uh, there. Um, let me just get your tokens. And who's left over there? It's just uh, Jason. No, yeah. and another uh, another oh. one, right? Yeah, that would be uh, Kevin is there. Mary would be still uh, with Jason. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck over here. Yeah, Jason and uh, Mary. Okay. I'll just do I'll just do relay race, just get them all. Whiplash. Please don't kill please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well somebody needs to be over that building anyway in case we get some hostages out of the building. So where is this explosive that they were planting? If you give mm. me if you give me a few if you give me like two hours, I can climb down and back up the building. <laughs> Take your time, no pressure. <laughs> I, I probably have good enough athletics to pull it off. Hey, I want, want to lift, hmm. and I pull you across. Okay. Well, I just don't get a say, apparently. <laughs> I just, like, appear on the other side, and I'm just like, um, thanks. Uh, I got an idea. I don't know if it'll work. Um... In the chat, okay. Okay. It's gonna be in the whole game and part of the chat. Boy, is he also breaking up for you guys? Yeah, yeah he is. is. <laughs> oh boy. Valor <laughs> <laughs> to my side. Yes. Also, my bird bird's not that big. Upsetting. It's an actual bird, not a freaking giant bird. Okay. Mm. Um, is Jason over there with you? Well, I've just brought across uh, Murray. Murray. But I, uh, I can very much just run back across and bring Jason across. Okay. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> he yeah. he's just whoa. He just, he just like tumbles for for a bit, just like stumbles. Very unsure of what just happened. Okay. Um. So, are you on the roof? Um. You notice that on the roof is uh an axis. Uh, some kind of stairway down. Yeah, that's quite highly likely a trap, or at least they're watching it. Who knows? Can we search for an alternate uh, entrance? Well, you can. It's up to your cre uh, creativity. I could... You said that there was uh, construction going on in this building? Yes. That means there's probably scaffolding, right? That we can probably climb down. Yes. Why don't we try that? Well, if you like, I could go ahead and scout the building and come back. 
Um, I, I'm, I already told Voltaire to go. I told Voltaire to go telekinetic. I like, told him telekinetically to go and fly through the building. Okay, since you're closer, it should work. Yeah, it should uh, work fine now. I'm already looking at what he sees and hears. Okay, so you you will have to relay that to your team. Okay, what exactly do I see? Like, are the like where does it look clear to enter? Uh, give me a second. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. first I need to pull pull you up here. So your bird would be. Uh, Going in through here. So he would fly through here into the lobby. Okay. But he would possibly, he couldn't like fly directly into the other, uh, what's the word? Other rooms, uh, since it would, uh, it would be kind of strange that a hawk would just fly through rooms. Yeah. So he would pro oh, probably just like stay, stay in the lobby. I guess the lobby looks clear. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Ah. Oh, you already had them down. We've had them down. Okay. Uh, you can see one of the bobs here. Uh, one here. <gasps> one here. Two here, and I think one here. Okay, I basically tell them to try and stay in as inconspicuous as possible while he's down there. Okay. And I stop uh, looking through his eyes, and I'm like, and I tell the rest, like, okay, if we go through the office here, the lobby has, from what I can tell, Five, six of them, but the bobs. Mm. Yeah, one of them is in the, one of them is right in the middle. Two of them are to the in the back to the right. One's to, directly to the right as you enter. One's in the waiting area, on the left, the back, and I think there was one more all the way in the back. But I'm not sure about him. Yeah, um, you only saw like um, like starting from here is would where your bird would have like stayed uh, yeah. in on the open window. And, yeah, uh, I, can, I he might be there, but I can't a hundred percent make it out. Yeah, and he would have possibly be uh, somewhere in the scaffold or uh, in the uh, what's the word? Some pipes or something sticking out on the roof, just like, or on the ceiling, just, like, watching. So, yeah. How do you want to enter? Uh, do we see any other hostages? Uh, do you no. see any other? Oh. Yeah, we, I can see any other hostages. So why do we... Is there another way to enter a level below this level? Uh... Well, looking around, you could, obviously. You, um, you do. Could you make some kind of logic check? Let me check. I have no clue. Um, um maybe just from the in, uh, intellect. Maybe. Intellect. I will. It's not my strong suit, so thinking hurts my. Yeah, um,. You think that um, you could only possibly reach the floor below them via the uh, one staircase. Oh, okay. So, or, well, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what you think. Okay. So, basically, um, there's no other way than this one that we've already found. Yeah, you could either go via the staircase to this section of... Um, of the of this building or mm -hmm. via the uh, scaffolding and oh, right 
but you're not certain if uh, the scaffolding would, or if there's any entrance to the floor below via the uh, scaffolding. Oh, so I'd have to climb through that thing and then then see if it's possible at all. Yes. Yeah. Could so, I go check? Yes, please do. Yes, you could. I would like at the speed of 770 miles per hour, <laughs> like to go up and down the building and investigate. Do you, re do you really want to do it that fast? Because uh, you would <laughs> uh, break the sound barrier and possibly alert <laughs> the uh, well, nice people that you, uh, you are there. Well, not that fast, but fast enough I'll that I can run burst, up and down. Uh, I'll see my burst several of our eardrums. But yeah, I want to run up and down the building and around, see if there's any entrances or access points. Okay. Um, you uh, see some uh, some unglassed windows in the floor below you, but you can't really see what's inside. Uh, is that taking us closer to this level? Well, it's the level directly below it. Okay, I'll run back up. There's, there's actually some broken windows just right below that floor. I could take you into. Okay, that, that would be a good idea, but uh, have they spotted you or is something inside? Ask Jason. Well, it didn't seem like it. Okay. Well then, uh, let me go in first. I'm uh, quite tanky. Let's just say it like this. I grab the back of his collar. Well, good luck with that. And in. Okay. Um, Jason would stand in a in a completely em empty floor, just like how you would expect, like a construction yard to uh site to look, just like some pillars, and nothing else. I'll keep. I'll just keep taking people down. Okay. On, upon further inspection, you you can see that um, there are there's a staircase. But um, give me a second. Where are we? Jason thinks something is fishy. Can I make a perception check? Yes, you can. Jason did too. Uh, uh, danger sense? Or... Uh, danger sense? Oh, wait, I have danger sense. Is that proc... Oh, wait, am I even down there? I, I took everyone down. Okay, so yeah. Does my danger sense pro pop? Um, you can't really uh, sense anything, uh, anyone stalking you oh. or... Oh, it's just a per perception check with a DC 10. Me, oh, roll, yeah, okay. You could, you could roll that. I'll copy. Uh, I'll copy paste this thing while I've written down. Okay, in the sense when you. Ah, yeah, it, it's, it is in combat. Uh, if I was a fall work here, never mind then. Continue. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Tenerys, um. And Mary. Uh, Mary, you would. Um, you would notice. Uh, you, Mary, you would. Um. You also have enhanced smelling, right? Uh. No, I don't have smelling actually. Okay. Uh, though... I have, most of my senses are vision or auditory. Okay. But uh, both of you still uh, smell something odd in the air. Uh, and um, upon further inspection, you, Mary, find um, that there are bombs placed on the, on the um, pillars. Somewhat uh. hidden, but. They are there. I should whisper to the rest, uh, there's bombs. 
Careful, there's bombs on the pillars. Okay. Uh, um, okay, well, that's scary. Is anyone good at disarming bombs? Mm, I guess uh, it would be an intel uh, technology check, right? Well, I would say, personally. Uh, I, I could do that. I can attempt, but... <laughs> but <laughs> before we do, uh, before we do, uh, you... Um, we will have to end this session. I hope uh, you all enjoyed it. So far, yes. Okay. Yeah. And next...